electricity pointed up at the mirror. Would lightning be strong enough to break that? She asked Storm quickly. Storm shook her head. No fairy lightning. Isn't like normal lightning. It would just bounce back off a mirror, she replied. Trusty Dream. Perfect, she said. I'm going to try to surprise the Robin. You get ready to grab the feather. Trusty could tell from Rachel's face that her friend was starting to get tired. She flew down towards the goblin at once. He was just stretching out a bony hand to grab Rachel's throat when Trusty tapped hard on one of his long red ears. Ow, who did that? He yelled, jumping back angrily. Trusty fluttered up in front of the mirror. True, over here, she yelled, waving cheekily. Catch me if you can. She saw the dolphin in the lightning feather straight at her. Cheeky little feather, fairy, she yelled. Take that. At once, another threatening golden lightning bolt went shooting towards Trusty. Trusty held her breath as she watched it fizzed towards the air. Through the air, it was so close she could practically feel its scorching heat on her face. Move, Rachel shouted in panic. Terrified that her brave friend was going to get hit. But Trusty waited until the very last second. And then just as the lightning was about to strike her, she dodged out of its way. The fairy lightning struck the mirror and, as Tom had predicted, it bounced right back straight at the goblin. Help, he shouted, trying to get out of its way. He tripped clumsily over his own feet and fell to the ground beneath the dinosaur model, dropping the lightning feather as he did so. Quick as a flash, Storm was there, diving towards the precious feather in a blur of purple and gold. She snatched it up and flew high in the air, well out of reach of Goblin's fingers. Nice work, Trusty, she cheered triumphantly. Hey, he yelled the Goblin, yelled the Goblin in fury, jumping up to try to reach the feather. He fell awkwardly against the dinosaur, lost in his balance and tumbled right into the water tray with the rubber fish. Grinning mischievously, Storm pointed the lightning feather at the model dinosaur. A stream of fiery lightning bolts shot out of the feather and struck the red and blue buttons on the control panel. Rachel's eyes widened in delight as the dinosaur sputtered all over for a second and then roar ran the dinosaur opening its jaws and with that it bent down and snatched up the goblin in its teeth.